previously on Living Off Grid. I'm already videoing you, so. Is this like a best, the best angle for me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those tires on that truck. I know, right? It's a beast. Looking good. Hey, you got a crane in the back of that truck. I know. To crane stuff with. To lift stuff with. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is it going to make it up to the island and is it going to give us years of good companionship and work? I feel like it's good. If we have a connection, I feel like. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Haley, is it okay if I include you in this little video of us loading up the truck? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, cool man, thank you. <laughs> Out here watering the garden with Nicole and Amy. Hey Amy, thanks for helping us in the garden. What did you find in your uh, bed there? Radish. So, does this mean I win? Because <laughs> I am eating the first produce out of our garden? Fully matured crop? Yeah, it's a radish. I could eat some microgreens, but you got that so far. How is it? Mmm, that's good. That was from Baker Creek, right? Just from seed, the ice, yeah, icicle radish yeah. or something? Yeah, that's really good. Mmm, oh my god, what? Mm. You wanna try it? Try it no. first, Amy. Nice! You wanna put it in your hair? I want to heal. Oh. <laughs> no hanging down. Here, yeah, there's another one ready. Can I try one? Oh, this one's a good one. Look at that one. Nice. Okay, I'll be the judge of your credit. <laughs> They're the best. 
These are really fun radishes. Like, that's gotta be just maybe five weeks, six weeks. Yeah. Mm, that's good. It's not like, it's got the radish flavor, like that spicy wasabi-like flavor, but not- But not too spicy. Not as bad as wasabi. It's more like, more edible. Nice texture too, it's like really, really juicy and not as crunchy, it's more like succulent. Mm. Good job, babe. Did your plants survive? They all survived, but the the ones that were in the back of the flatbed truck with the uh, tarp protecting them, they got beat up by wind damage a little bit, but do you want to see? Yeah. These ones did really well. We put these guys in the truck box. They were totally safe. Male and female kiwi, fuzzy kiwi, the Nicole Rose. <laughs> um, and this is another female kiwi, but then these guys are all pawpaws. So we've got seven pawpaw trees, and then we've got uh, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 pawpaws that are trying to sprout from seed. We made it back to Blackfish Hollow. It was quite the journey to get here with everything. I am exhausted. So last night, Jake and I didn't get back um, to where our boat is docked to like, I think it was one o'clock in the morning and it was too late to boat over to our property because it's dark, we don't have lights, it's a small boat. So we had to sleep in the Prius, which is very uncomfortable. And there was packed full, so it's not like we could have like laid the seats all the way back, like it was packed to the rim. So I'm exhausted, but we have all these plants to take care of and some things to do. And it's such a beautiful day that I just don't wanna like waste it sitting inside. But I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Not to embarrass you, but is it is it packed to the rim or packed to the brim? I don't know. I said rim, packed to the rim, right? Just making fun of you. What is it? Did I say it wrong? I don't know. You're from Oregon. That may be how they say it in Oregon. <laughs> What's the name of the truck? I don't know. We haven't even asked anybody what to name it. I'm calling it the Brown Beast for the time being, because <laughs> it's brown. Wow, how original. Sounds kind of dirty, but Brown Beast and the Spirit Bear. Yeah. That's the van. We um, have two neighbor kids that live down the way, and Brayden said that it looked like rust. <laughs> and I was like, no, that's the color. <laughs> He's so, like, um, Brayden is so, like, careful with his words, too, so, and very, like, intelligently careful. Like he's, I can see him saying that. It looks like rust. It's like I thought it I thought it was rust. Like the color was rust and I was like, no, it's brown. <laughs> <laughs> what can brown do for you? Well brown can bring you some plants. We have so many. Enough, so, so I have a question. Yeah. Do we have a problem that we don't even have flooring or furniture but we have plants? Well, like <laughs> if you are a gardener and watching this video, you'll know that Gardeners always buy plants and trees, whether they have room or not. <laughs> but my thought goes, I this orchard is going to have to have over 500 fruit trees in it. But when we find good ones, we got to get them, and I have to slowly piece this together. So this yeah. is only like 10 trees. Only like 10 trees? Maybe it's like 15 trees. not 10 trees. trees. <laughs> like 15 trees. 15 out of 500, we got a I long know, ways to go. We got to start somewhere. The only thing I didn't think of that I'm really nervous about right now is deer. That I just thought of is deer. I didn't think about deer. We have deer. But I my, don't, we haven't seen isn't. them back here. We've only seen bear. Yeah. We haven't seen deer here because it might be too cramped and like they wouldn't be able to like run away fast. And I feel like they would feel trapped and here. Wolf here. That I. The deer might be like. like oh, we haven't even seen any like deer scat or anything. Like yeah. we haven't even seen. Oh, I'm cutting myself out. Um, so hopefully we don't have that problem. But. And we're going to put all this stuff really close to the yurt so that we're making noise and we're defenders of it yeah so now we gotta unload all this stuff let's do it that's the fun part i'm ready for a nap i'm gonna fall asleep i'm ready for a nap uh.
to be our helper today and help with the flooring? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is Amy, and she's going to help us with our flooring that we're doing today. Yeah? <laughs> Have you ever done flooring before? Hmm? Have you ever done flooring before? Hmm. No? All right. I've never done flooring either. Jake has, so he's taking the reins on this project, but I am cleaning the yurt. We're starting back here, so I have to move all of this to the front door. And yeah, let's get to let's get to flooring. Does that does that sound weird? Yeah. Get to flooring. Let's get to laying the floor. <laughs> flooring is actually pretty easy usually you have an underlayment like a sound deadener or moisture barrier but this one has it built all into the to the plank so I got the sound deadener and moisture barrier all together already on each plank is a deal at the flooring store for about half price so we got a great deal because we bought this one coming up in the future when we have the yurt going to live in we're going to expand and build a few more structures for visitors or guests like treehouse maybe another yurt maybe a cob house and we're gonna try to harvest our own wood from our forest here to make the flooring. as we push it in. I like that sound right there. I need somebody over here to apply the pressure. Three, two, one. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Thank you. <laughs> Nicole to the rescue. It's like I dream of Jeannie. Jeannie? <laughs> That's the sound of her nose going. That's on Bewitched. Oh, shoot, two different shows. Jeannie, so goes, like, Jeannie goes like this. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, 
stopped for a lunch slash snack break and I made some just regular top ramen. And then I grilled up some mushrooms and fried up some tomatoes, put some black sesame seeds on there and nutritional yeast and some hemp seed oil. And yeah, it looks delicious, it smells delicious, and it only took like five minutes. <laughs> Not even. Oh yeah, that's delicious. <laughs> Floor is coming along nicely. Jake and I are getting into the groove of it and I'm moving along pretty fast, so. Hopefully we get half of it done before about 7.30 um, cause Jake and I are hanging out with some friends tonight. So hopefully we get about half, but if not, I know that we'll finish for sure tomorrow. We're moving pretty quickly, so yay. patrons on patreon right now so they can see it first yes if you want to become a patron all the links are down below you get exclusive videos live videos we chat with you guys and much much more but we didn't quite get to halfway but that's okay we're having fun with it kind of taking our time enjoying the process we had to prep for two hours so tomorrow we just start from the get-go yeah tomorrow we'll probably finish honestly yeah for sure but and then we're going to try to use a uh, belated weed whacker that our neighbor's gonna so kindly um, let us borrow and see if we can clear the road, which is like which is thick. three acres long. Yeah. Not three acres square, but three acres long. Mm -hmm. And then um, hopefully put the stove, which is 800 pounds, on the new brown beast yeah. truck and then back it in right to the front door of the yard. Oh, I cut you off, sorry. This camera is so heavy. But we are going to call it a night. We actually have dinner plans with some locals here, which we're really excited about. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like our channel, if you like what you see, and comment down below and give us a thumbs up. And goodbye, love you guys. Make sure to catch the next episode of Living Off Grid. It's just been dried up, it's already dead. Uh.